will count on today. Swung on and missed. Here we go. We should be back up and going. An 0-2 count. Swung on and missed for the third strike. That will be the third out for the Lady Panthers. Our Lady Rams will take the field for the top of the fourth. Nope. Top of the third. Sorry that they're fixing my scoreboard here. <laughs> I will be right back. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Okie Tavern Wings. Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy a nice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Okalona Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Okalona Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events, broadcast on YouTube, and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. All right, welcome back. Lady Rams take the field. Skyler gives them a little prep, pep talk out there. They we're tied one to one right now, so they they got to keep it. Got to keep everything under wraps. Can't let them score this this inning. Looks like up to bat, we have Macy Kowser. First, first pitch thrown is the ball a little low inside. At the top of the third. I can pitch ball inside. Ooh, that was called a ball, but that was a little, that was a little close. <laughs> Looks like maybe a little low. Nice strike thrown by Skyly. Three balls, one strike, no outs on the Lady Panthers. Ball four looks like to be a little low. Macy Kaiser will walk down to first. Up next, we have Tia Mendez. First pitch swung on and missed. Using my phone to make sure our live video is still up. <laughs> Internet out here is so touch and go sometimes. Like ball inside. Our second pitch. And a 1-1 one -one count. I'm going to miss for strike number two. Ball a little high. Ball is hit. Foul ball on the right hand side. And a 2 2 count still. Strike three thrown right up the middle for Skyly. That will be the first out on the Lady Panthers. Oh. 
ball, a little outside, a little high. Out to bat, we have Jocelyn Parrott. Still on first base is Macy Kowser. Strike. Cool. And a 1 1 count. Oh, side. She does take off to second. She is tagged out at second base. That will be our second out for the Lady Rams. That was perfect positioning for today to throw that. She threw it nice and low as Logan came in. Was able to tag her just right. She slid into second. All fouled off first base side. That'll make us a two and two count on two outs. No Lady Panthers on base. Strike three. Let's swing him. That will be the third out on the Lady Panthers. All right. Up to bat for the Lady Rams. We have up first Anna Frazier, Tegan Orr, Logan McQuillan. As we talked about um, Tuesday's game against um, Yeah, <laughs> as we were saying against Tuesday's game against Elmwood, um, they kind of had everybody moved around a little bit. We we're playing new positions. Um, they just, they, just, Lady Rams just kind of seemed off a little bit. We are kind of back to where we normally were playing, and I mean they seem to be playing pretty good, having good throws, good plays, uh, swinging the bats, hitting, making contact, and you can't really ask any more for that. Good thing. Okay, up first to bat, we got Anna Fraser. First pitch is called a ball high. Second pitch swung on and missed. A little up. high. Live is still up and going. So that is only our goal. Slap back to the pitcher. Just beats her by a hair. Does get her out at first. Second pitch swung on hit, popped back up to the pitcher. She does catch it. Tegan is out. That will bring up Logan McQuillan on deck, Skyly Zolman. First pitch swung on and go foul all down the third base line. Second pitch, nice change of just a little short on her.
One ball, two, one ball, one strike. Two outs. Swung on, popped back to the second baseman, drops just short. Nobody at first to cover the bag. Logan on, McQuillan is able to nail a spot on first base. Up deck, we um, not up deck, up to bat. We have Skyly Zolman. Two outs on the Lady Rams with Logan McQuillan on first base. First pitch. Hit inside. Just gets past that shortstop. Oh, gets past left fielder. Logan runs around, running no. into home. Skyly running to third. That will be a triple for Skyly. Skyly will land a spot on third base and bring Logan McQuillan in. Lady Panthers will call a timeout after that play. Where we sit, that will be two runs for the Lady Rams, one for the Lady Panthers, two outs. Up to bat, we will have Paige Gamby with Skyly on third base. back up to bat we got Paige Gamby first pitch will be called a strike second pitch right in the same spot nice strike no balls two strikes on Paige to third base, bounces off third base's glove. Looks like it got it right on the wrist. Rolls out to center field. Paige is able to get a spot on first base and that will bring Skyly Zolman in for run number three for the Lady Rams. Looks like that just popped right before third baseman was able to grab it and just got it right on that base of the wrist. You're going to take a little bit of a minute just to make sure she's okay. Especially when it's cold weather and you get hit like that. Those tend to sting just a little bit more. Out to bat for the Lady Rams. We'll bring up Paige Carpenter. we got Paige Gamby on first base and two outs on the Lady Rams. Come on, Paige. First pitch on Paige will be a strike right on that inside corner. He's that's he's liking that zone right there on that inside corner. He's been very consistent about that call. A little outside. One one count on Paige Carpenter. Through a change up. It just a little, came in high. Two balls, one strike. Strike two. Paige Gamby does steal second. They do, Lady Panthers did not throw it. She will secure her spot on second base. At a 2-2 count on Paige Carpenter. Paige Gamby on second. Oh, 
Two outs on the Lady Rams. Pitch is fouled off. Just a little bit nicked. It does go back behind the catcher. Still two to two count. Ball fouled up behind us. Outside of the field. Still a two to two count. Here are Lady Rams cheering on Paige up at bat. Ooh, change up, hit to first base, does snag it, and Paige is out at first. Okay, that'll bring up the Lady Panthers to bat. They will start the top of the fourth inning out with Jalen Kopenstein. We will be right back. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. Higby Embroidery is a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award. All right, we are back here. Up to bat. We have Jalen Koppenstein. I always struggle with her last name so much. First pitch, nice strike from Skyly. So one thing I always struggle with is their names. Pitch number two is a nice strike right up the middle. She does swing and misses. No boss, two strikes on Paige. Number three is fouled off behind us. Out of play. Nice change up thrown by Skyly. Hit right back at her. Throws the ball to first base. Does get the Lady Panther out. One out on the Lady Panthers. Up to bat, we got Brooklyn Bagel. Wilkins does call a timeout. All right, you're ready. Foul ball back off. Looks like it did go into the Lady Panthers dugout. One ball, one strike. Is our count? One out on the Lady Panthers. Well, it swung on and missed. I think she thought that was her third strike. <laughs> <laughs> it did get past an A and she took off towards first. I'm guessing she's thinking about the drop third strike there, but it was only two. She will come back up to bat. One ball, two strikes is her count. One out. Ball high. That drop third strike is one of those rules where if you're not paying attention, and it's very easy to forget about. <laughs> Oh. 
Strike three is swung on and missed. That will be out number two on the Lady Panthers. Up, that will bring up to bat Riley Stork. No Panthers on base. Nice change up there by Skyly right in the middle. She thought about swinging at it too, but she did not. Nice second change up there by Skyly. Does make contact with it, but it does go foul. No balls, two strikes on Riley Stork. Kind of a half swing. Wasn't really sure what she was <laughs> quite going to do, but it did go foul. As you talked about before, Skyly has been working on those change-ups, and she's been making really great progress on them. Strike three is thrown. And it goes down swinging. That will be our third out on the Lady Panthers. That will bring up to bat. For the Lady Rams, the bottom of the fourth, Zoe Rothstein, Mayor Pittman, Tanae Smith, we will be back. Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement? Or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one -on -one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. And we are back. we got Zoe Rostai up to bat. First pitch is hit on, does go foul off first base side. Second pitch ball outside. Ball low inside. Two balls, one strike is our count. No outs for the Lady Rams. No, la no outs on the Lady Rams. Cannot talk right today. Ball hit, gets out to right field, throws it in. She is able to secure her spot on first base. Those are those nice base hits that we need from the Lady Rams. We don't always quite need to crush it. Sometimes you just need those nice... Just nice, easy hits. That will bring up Marin Pittman to the plate. And with the butt, does bounce off the plate and goes foul. A timeout, the third baseman's fixing her knee brace. Okay. Back. No balls, one strike. Zoe Ross down on first base. And Will Bunt pulls it back. Pitch is called a ball. 1-1 one, one count. But is foul ball. Just quiet. Kind of hit and then went dead in the dirt. 
One ball, two strike. Nice hit out to right field. She does catch it. That will be the first out on the Lady Rams. Still, a one, like I said, once again, I mean, nice, solid hit. That's really all we need. You can't be too upset. I mean, they're making contact with the ball. And they're not watching it. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to happen. You have those fly balls. Bring up to the plate, the plate, Tanae Smith. First ball low in the dirt. Still have Zoe Rostai on first base. Second pitch swung on and missed. Be a 1-1 one, one count. One out on the Lady Rams. It's actually threw a changeup and just kind of lobbed right over to Nate there. Will be ball number two. Ball three inside. Now low inside. Swung on and missed. That will make it a full count on Tanae Smith. We got a timeout so Zoe can tie your shoe. We'll get right back at it. Swung on, pitch is swung on and missed. That will be the second out on the Lady Rams. That will bring up Anna Frazier to bat. We still have Zoe Rossi on first base. First ball, looks like ball inside. Second pitch, ball outside. Second, third pitch, called a ball. Three balls, no strikes on Anna Frazier. Ball number four called Anna will go down to first. That will advance Zoe Ross side to second. That's a bat. We got Tegan Norton. We got Zoe Ross tie in second. Anna Frazier in first with two outs. The bottom of the fourth inning. Nice change up thrown from the Lady Panthers pitcher. Jalen Koffenstein. That'll be first strike on Tegan Norton. All the high outside. 1-1 one, one count. You can just hit it, pops it up just between second base. So he makes it around to home. Anna Frazier advances to third. Tegan Norton will stand on first base. And we'll make it four to one. The Lady Rams. Now we'll bring up Logan McQuillan.
first pitch is out of play on the um, third baseman side. I didn't quite see where it went. I thought maybe <laughs> I was worried about it coming down and landing in the Lady Rams dugout there. Second pitch is foul balled again right back behind us. No balls, two strikes. Still have Anna Frazier on third and Tegan Norton standing on first. Ball high. <laughs> Line drive down towards the kind of went between third baseman and Anna Frazier and it was she hit it hard. It did land foul. That was uh that was hit pretty hard. <laughs> There's not a very big gap between third baseman and Anna right now, so you can imagine it just barely went in in between there. Ball low. Got a two to two count. Change up thrown in. She just hit it popped out to left field. That will make the third out. We'll have the Lady Panthers up to bat. Looks like we will have Samantha Heal, Riley Sanders, and Marley Parrott. We will be right back. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Hey, we are back. Lady Rams will take the field. Lady Panthers up to bat. Top of the fifth, we got Lady Panthers one, Lady Rams four. Up to bat, we have Samantha Heal. Or Leal. Sorry, I'm handwriting today. First pitch will be a ball. Nice strike from Skyly. A 1-1 one, one count. Swung on, hit down to Paige Gamby. Throwing to first. Runner will be out. That will bring up Riley Sanders on deck. Marley Parrott. Yep, one out on the Lady Panthers. Strike. First pitch is a strike. All low high. We're still standing at 51 degrees. Still got some, I've got a breeze going out there tonight. Which is a ball low. Which hit, ball does go out of play, foul ball. A 2 2 count. Hit down first baseline. It does go foul. It's 
Still a two to two count on Riley Sanders. Ball is just hit to Skylake, gets past her. Looks like Logan McCullen is able to scoop that up and throw it to first, and they do get her out. That will make two outs on the Lady Panthers. Up to bat, we got Marley Parrott. But she does leave the butt out there. That will be strike number one. Shows the bump, pulls it back, and swings. Does go foul on the first base side. No balls, two strikes. Two outs on the Lady Panthers. Nobody on base. These are the innings that we need. Those nice, working like a team innings. Looks like Coach Fairchild is questioning her bunt. That's as far as it goes. They got no balls, two strikes on Marley Parrott. Ball high outside. Back to shortstop. Ball is scooped up barely by Paige Carpenter, and the runner is out. We will go to the bottom of the fifth. The Lady Rams up to bat. Looks like we will have Skylie Zolman, Paige Gamby, and Paige Carpenter. We will be right back. Drop Zone Pizzeria in Ayersville and Stryker offers the area's best pizza, wings, subs, and calzones. In fact, Drop Zone Pizzeria was voted the area's best pizza in 2020 and again for 2022. From pickle pizza to pilot bread to grandma pizza, Drop Zone Pizzeria is always looking outside the pizza box for something special for their fantastic customers. Order by calling in Ayersville at 419-395-2525 or in Stryker at 419-990-2525. Hours of operation close Monday, Tuesday through Thursday, and Sunday, 4 to 8 p.m., Friday and Saturday till 9. Drop Zone Pizzeria now with two locations, downtown Ayersville at 13995 Fruit Ridge Road and also at 301 South Defiant Street in downtown Stryker. Stop in at the Stryker location for a bite of ice cream. Visit them on Facebook at the Drop Zone Pizzeria where online ordering is available. And remember, the Drop Zone Pizzeria says go Rams! All right, we are back here. The Lady Rams up to bat. Up to bat, we got Skyly Zolman. The start it off the inning for the Lady Rams. Looks like I got a change up just kind of a little too high on Skyly. It'll be a ball. It popped up out of play right behind us. A one to one count on Skyly. Oh, change up did get her. She she did way back a little bit. She was just just kind of didn't quite get it. One ball, two strikes. Strike three. Swing. That'll be the first out on the Lady Rams. That brings up to bat Paige Gamby on deck. Paige Carpenter. All low. <laughs> 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 
second pitch looks like a change up. A little high. We call the ball. Two balls, no strikes. All three is going to be high. A 3 0 count, one out. All four inside. Paige Gamby will advance to first. That will bring up Paige Carpenter on deck. Zoe Rostime. First pitch will be called a strike on Paige Carpenter. Pitch will be a strike. No balls, two strikes. I'll hit back two pitchers. She will throw to second. Will Gamby will be called out. It looks like a short top. I don't know. She kind of stumbled and fell on her. She fell down. Paige Gamby will be out at second, but Paige Carpenter will snag a spot on first base. That will bring up Zoe Ross time. A nice change up thrown in. Will be called a strike. Ball is hit, looks like. Does go out off the just off the first baseline, and she will catch it. That will be the third out on the Lady Rams. That will bring up our Lady Panthers, and we'll be, we will be right back after this message. Is your business looking for someone to take the day-to-day -day worries of your bookkeeping off your mind? Weber Bookkeeping Solutions of Defiance is here to help. With over five years of small business bookkeeping experience and seven years in banking, you can be confident that your books are in the right hands with Jenny Weber. Let Weber Bookkeeping Solutions handle the monthly tracking and reports so that you can focus on your business goals. Contact Jenny at 419-956-1273, and you can also visit her on Facebook or at WeberBookkeeping.com. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events, broadcast on YouTube, and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. All right. Looks like we are back with the Lady Panthers up to bat. Looks like we are looking at Macy Kowser up to bat for the Lady Panthers. First pitch is called a strike. The top of the sixth inning got a score of one for the Lady Panthers and four for the Lady Rams. It's like a change up. <laughs> Wasn't quite there. Will be called a ball. No, 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 no. So we're sitting there. And we're sitting there. And at this point, strike, swung out, and missed. There's a lot of background noise going tonight, so I'm going to cut that out for just a second. Swung on and missed. Does get past today. She. She will run to first, and she will be safe at first. That last pitch was called a strike. Today dropped it, so that drop third strike will go into effect there. Up to deck will be Tia Mendez. Ball is hit foul. So 
okay, well, there's people that are trying to catch another flight, so let's let them off the plane first, which makes sense. Well, of course, no, no. So, like, Woo. I was towards the back of the plane, while well, a lot of the people towards the back Pitch is called a strike. To catch, so they stand up, and so they make it, like, a quarter of the way to the front, and then everybody starts standing up, and, like, when you deep plane, usually it's, like, row, row, row. Ball is so fouled back at me. These poor people are just standing here. There's, like, eight of them that are trying to get off the plane to go catch their other flight. And so then finally, it's like half halfway, and the guy's like, are there people back there trying to get to another flight? And they're like, yeah. Oh, change it a little high. Like, okay, let's let them two, two count. So then they finally let them through. I don't know if they caught their flight or not. Well, is hit the second base and able to snag it up. Does get the runner out at second, but she is safe at first. Nice try, ladies. Nice try, girls. Ball was hit pretty close to second base. Looks like Logan McQuillan was able to scoop that up. Toss the ball to Tegan Norton. Get the runner out at second. Not quite enough time when they flipped it back to get her out at first. First pitch is a ball. Tia Mendes is able to advance the second. The ball got behind Tanae. No, we'll be there. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure, so. Yeah. Come on, okay. Tanae, be a wall back there. Ball inside. As I said in the very beginning, Paulding is very aggressive when it comes to their stealing bases and stuff. As you can see, uh, Tia Mendez out of second, she does get quite a big lead off on there. So it's very important that Tanae keeps that ball in front of her and they get that ball right back to Skyly. We got two balls, one strike for the count, one out. Tia Mendez on second. ball inside. Oh, she does throw to second. <gasps> Nobody was there to cover the base. Does get past her. Yeah! yeah! Looks like Anna Fraser was able to come in and sneak that ball up right behind her. Throws it down to third as Tia Mendez takes off for third when that ball got passed. Paige Gamby was able to tag her and got her out on the tag. We got three balls, one strike on Jocelyn Parrott. Strike two. So there's a little confusion out there. So basically what happened, we had Tia Mendez on second base. Oh, and the ball's hit to second base, the Logan. Player is out at first. So basically what happened, they had Tia Mendez on second base. Uh, Tanae Smith. Like I said, Paulding does get a, a big lead off those bases. So she threw it back to second. There wasn't quite anybody there to cover the base yet. So when she threw that ball, it did get passed. Luckily, Anna Frazier was standing out there and was able to recover the ball right away. Threw it to third base. Paige Gamby caught it and was able to make that tag and tagged her out at third to get that second out for the Lady Rams. All right, we will go to the bottom of the fifth, the bottom, bottom of the sixth. Up to bat, we will have Marin Pittman and Tanae Smith. We will be right back. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Okie Tavern Wings. 
Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy a nice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Oklahoma Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Oklahoma Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. All right, up to bat, we'll bring the Lady Rams, Marin Pittman. First pitch is called a ball, though high. Second ball, though low. Swung on and missed. Bring the count to two balls, one strike. Oh, looks like we will have a dead ball hit by pitch. Marin will advance to first base. That will bring up Tanae Smith. Little ball high. Michael Balding Panthers will call a timeout. Check out Tenora Rams Live. Live events broadcast on YouTube and post-game results, articles, schedules, and more can all be found on TenoraRams.com. All right, we are back. Still have Tanae Smith up to bat. One ball count. Marion Pittman standing on first. She will butt right back to the pitcher. She'll snag that. And we'll get her out at first. Marion Pittman will advance to second base. We'll bring up Anna Frazier at the top of the lineup. First pitch will be a strike. Swing and miss. No balls, two strikes. Hit to third base. She has looked back. She will be safe at first base. All right. Good job, Erin yeah. might have tripped getting into third there, but she looks okay. We'll advance Marin Pittman to third. Anna Fraser will snag a spot on first base. That will bring up Tegan Norton to bat. One out for the on the Lady Rams. Looks like first pitch is hit foul, the right right side of the field. Straighten it out, Tegan. Nice hit. Snagged by. I think shortstop snagged it, but it looks like it might have hit the ground before she actually caught it. She throws it to first, but Tegan Order was able to beat her. So we will have bases loaded. That will bring up Logan McQuillan. This pitch will be called a strike. We got Marin Pittman on third, Anna Fraser on second. 
And Tegan ordered on first. One out on the Lady Rams. Ball inside. We got a count of two and one. Hello. <laughs> Ball will be hit out to your right fielder. It will drop right in front of her. Will advance Marin Pittman in. Anna Frazier will run home. Slides and is safe at home. Okay. That will bring up Skyly Zolman to bat. We have Tegan Norton standing on third. And Logan McQuillan will be on second. Up to bat, we have Skyly Zolman. Ball high. Second pitch will be ball low inside. Third pitch will be swung on and missed. Two balls, one strike is your count. We still have Tegan Norton on Tegan Norton on third and Logan McQuillan. In second. Ball is hit short to shortstop, does get past and does make it to the fence. Skyly will be standing on second base. She was able to heat, hit Tegan Norton and Logan McQuillan in. That's nice hard hits are the, uh, definitely the hits that we need to see from those Lady Rams all season. After that, we had Paige Gamby hits it just right between second baseman and right field. And we'll advance her to second base. Sky lead a third, and the Lady Panthers will call a timeout. Looks like they will put a new pitcher in for the Lady Panthers. Looks like they're going to put in Jalen Kopfenstein. Kop, Kop, I've been saying her last name. I've been butchering that all night. Yeah. Let her warm up here a little bit. and We'll be back in action. Okalona Tavern, located in downtown Okalona, is the home of the famous Okie Tavern Wings. 
Stop in after the game and get some delicious wings, burgers, fries, onion rings, and enjoy an ice cold beverage while talking about the game. Hours of operation are Tuesday to Sunday, opening at 4 p.m. Check out the Oklahoma Tavern on Facebook for a menu before you head out. Mexican food specials every Thursday and Sunday. The Oklahoma Tavern, a proud supporter of the Tenora Rams. All right, looks like we are back with Paige Carpenter up to bat. We have Skylie Zolman standing on third and Paige Gamby on second. First pitch, she will be hit by the ball. It will be a dead ball. Paige Carpenter will advance to first. Up to bat. Next, we will have Zoe Rothstein. Base is loaded. Inside, first pitch will be called a ball. Skyly Zolman standing on third, Paige Gamby on first, and Paige Carpenter, Paige Gamby on second, Paige Carpenter on first. Will be hit to third. She will fumble a bit. Will throw it home and will get past the catcher. Skyly will be safe at first. And Paige Gamby as well. Looks like they will set out Marin for Mallory Zackridge. She will be up to bat. First pitch, dead ball. Okay, kind of a little bit of a lot going on right now. <laughs> Between twitching pitchers and batters and so it looks like on first base, we will have Mallory Zacharis from a hit pitch. We've got Zoe Rossi standing on second. Paige Carpenter standing on first. And up to bat, we will have Tanae Smith. Come on, Tanae. Come on, Tanae. Get out of home. Two outs. Okay, we'll pop it up. Looks like it will go to right fielder. She will catch it. Paige Carpenter will run home and will be safe at home. That will advance runners to third and second. Where is it? RBI. All right, looks like that will be our game for the Lady Rams tonight. We'll be back. Looks like we are at the bottom of the, bottom of the six, end of the score, with one for your Lady Panthers and 11 for your Tenora Rams. We will be right back. Higby Embroidery of Defiance offers custom screen printing and custom embroidery to local high schools and individuals from all areas. Connie Higby and her staff have been serving and supporting Tenora High School as well as the Tri-County area since 1999. From throws to t-shirts to school jackets and much more, Higby Embroidery is here to serve your custom needs. Higby Embroidery is located at 1940 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Contact them at 419-428-3000 or visit them online at Higby.com or Higby Embroidery on Facebook. Higby Embroidery is a proud sponsor of the Tenora Rams Live Player of the Game Award.
Looking for home or auto insurance? What about building for retirement or looking to start a small investment portfolio for your family? Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services of Defiance has you covered. Tim Bidlack of Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services has over 10 years of investment experience. Tim can assist in estate planning, IRAs, 401k investments, among other financial planning areas. Need home or auto insurance? Welcome Austin Bidlack. He can assist you on those. At Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services, they will work one-on-one with you to make sure your home, auto, and business are protected. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services are located at 912 East 2nd Street in Defiance. Call Tim or Austin at 419-438-0023 today for a free quote. You can visit them online or on their Facebook page as well. Bidlack Insurance and Financial Services wish the best to all the Tenora Rams athletes this season. Welcome back. We will have our post game little talk here. It did end up just being me tonight. AJ was not able to join me. Uh, so we will go into post game and picking our players of the game. Um, looking out tonight, uh, Lady Rams playing the Lady Panthers. I think they did a really good job. We had a strong defense, a very strong defense tonight, which is definitely what we were needing. We had Skylie Zolman back out in the mound. She had quite a few strikeouts tonight. She did have a couple hits off of her, but she had her, her defense there to back her up and I think that that's really what they need. They need that those players that are diving for the pitches. They need everybody out there working as a team. That's a really key importance. Um, as far as batting for the Lady Rams, there wasn't much going down. Looking at looking at any pitches, they were they were swinging, they were hitting, whether they were fouling it off um, or putting the ball in play. We had a lot of that tonight, which is definitely what these Lady Rams need. Um, they have to keep those bats strong. That's what's going to get them these wins like they did tonight. Um, so looking at our player of the games winner for tonight, I think, to be honest, I'm going to have to give it to two girls. Um, it wasn't just any one single individual. I think looking at a defensive side, we're definitely looking at Skylie Zolman in that mound tonight. Um, she had a good, good fair amount of strikeouts, um, throwing pretty decent tonight. Um, and that's definitely what they need on that, on that defensive side. Um, looking at it as an offensive side, um, I think I'm definitely going to have to give it to Paige Gamby. Um, she, I mean, she scored at least three runs for the Lady Rams, had up to hit every time, um, being very aggressive on those bases. That's definitely what these Lady Rams need. they got to be aggressive out there, um, whether it's at the plate, on the base, running, defense. She also did a good job at third base tonight, uh, got a tag out. Um, so, yeah, I think our – Players of the game tonight are going to be Skylie Zolman and Paige Gamby. Uh, we would like to thank our sponsors that for our uniforms. The Lady Rams wore their nice white jerseys tonight with their green pants. Which I will say, I didn't know how I would feel about these uniforms at first, but they're kind of growing on me. I'm liking the green pants and the white jerseys. It kind of sticks out. I can't imagine it's very easy to clean, but hey, that's not my job. <laughs> <laughs> so our uniforms are brought to us by David Frank. Uh, no, uniforms are. Give me just a second. I gotta find it here. I am new to all this, so that's okay. Uh, we'll go to sponsors here real quick. We got Jewel Grain. Kissners, uh, uh, Signs Excavating, Bat and Steven Body Shop, Ken's Furniture, and we got Edward uh, Jeremy Oat, and Edward Jones. And we got a couple more here. Hold on just a second. Higby Embroidery. Drop Zone Pizza. Bidlack Insurance and Investments. That's on my list. I know we have more, but like I said, I'm sorry, guys. I'm <laughs> this is my first time doing this all alone, so there's kind of it's kind of a little chaotic. Um, but I promise next time I should have this down for you. But that is good for our, that is all tonight here in the Lady Rams. We had a score of eleven. To one. 
We'll see you next time. I think the Lady Rams have a double header this weekend. Fortunately, we will not be there to broadcast, but if you guys are interested, they have a double header playing against Wasion at Wasion. Until next time, we'll see you.